Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to both my panels, Prof. Amir Razi and Madam Fauzia. My name is Muhammad Amir Jazli bin Muhammad Razali and I am supervised by TS Dr. Abdul Hakim Abdullah. And today, I would like to present my FYP proposal titled The Study of Acoustic in Moss in Selangor. Okay, for this presentation, uh, it will consist of introduction, literature review, uh, methodology use, and lastly, expected result. Okay, moving on to the first part of the presentation, which is the introduction. Okay, the background study. Uh, a mosque is where Muslims gather uh, to pray and listen to preaching. And according to Jakim, Selangor was ranked eight with the most mosques in any state in Malaysia. According to Ibrahim, uh, from his perspective in architecture world, the design of a big hall such as the mosque only look forward to the appearance and space function. Uh, so the mosque is frequently not followed with a high level of acoustic quality while having the great appearance and space function mentioned above. It is important to incorporate acoustical issues into the early design consideration and to tackle them in the construction phase for reasonable cost. The effect of most architecture on acoustical performance, particularly on speech intelligibility, is frequently overlooked on indirect study. In comparison to churches where the harmony of music is required, activities in mosques are focused on those relating to speech, especially when worshippers present during Friday prayer where khutbah and kuliah are performed. Uh, for this study. Uh, however, there are no precise guidelines for most have been developed yet and there are no suggestions or rules regarding the most acoustic because most of the recommendations are only applicable to concert halls, auditoriums and opera houses. Okay, next, uh, problem statements and objective. The research questions that managed to be discovered from the study is does the design of the most follow the guidelines of the acoustic quality? Does the speech intelligibility get affected by the poor most acu acoustical quality? What are the parameters that can be the factors that influence the speech intelligibility performance in the most? Are there any treatments that can be implemented out and considered if any in order to improve the acoustic quality? And for the objective, to assess the acoustical characteristic of the most with a sound level meter and a sound measurement equipment as it is not executed yet in Selangor. And to compare the acoustic level and quality between the most by having different volume and size. All right, for the scope, for this uh, research, uh, the parameters considered in the analysis and procedure are the speech level, RT60, background noise, SN ratio, ST and Rusty. The parameters will be measured 1.5 meter from the floor by considering worshiper is standing during praying. PA system will be used in the most in order to measure RT60 and sound level meter which measure the speech level will be tested with or without worshipper. Lastly, the air conditioner or fans will be on and off as the condition during the testing procedure. The limitation is the time of experimenter may take place on day and it will be measured only in the main prayer hall and the sizes of the two most are not exactly the same but we can consider them comparable and the recommendations on acoustic quality design only should be suggested only. The most physical or material characteristic cannot be transformed in order to improve its acoustic quality. All right, moving on to the next part of the presentation is the literature review. All right. Uh, what is acoustic? From the perspective of an acoustic science book, acoustic is the study of sound, specifically its production, transmission through solid and fluid media and any other phenomena caused by its propagation via form of mechanism. And why acoustic important for the most? Firstly, good acoustic design will provide better and more comfortable environment within the most in terms of clarity and intelligible of speech. So it extremely relates to the worshippers comfort inside the most. So what is the definition of speech intelligibility? Speech intelligibility is an accuracy in which listeners can understand the clarity and conciseness of spoken words or phrases. And the, in this study, acoustic parameters chosen that influence the speech intelligibility quality are as below. Firstly, background noise, reverberation time, signal to noise ratio, and last but not least, uh, ST and Rusty. Okay, uh, for the effect of shape and effect of material for the most, uh, Masjid Sha'ala Mainz Prayer Hall is 
shape of rectangle. Our Masjid Kelang Sumayang Prayer Hall is uh, an octagon shape. And for the effect of material, uh, according to Othman, the majority of contemporary most use sound absorbing materials on the majority of their internal surfaces, except for the floor and horizontal surfaces. Both most, uh, for this case, uh, almost has the same material use, such as concrete wall, glass, or wood door and window, carpeted floor, and so on. Moving on to the methodology of this search. Methodology used in this study is shown is in the flowchart below. And the uh, one thing that I want to highlight here is how to determine how to determine the measuring point. The measuring point can be determined from the front, mid, and back of the most, as shown here. And it is because uh, the each of the point represent that the difference of the sound heard from the amplified speaker it has the different from each point. So this is the most that I've chosen for my uh, research. Uh, both most will be measured in the main prayer hall, including length, width, height, and volume. Uh, the instrument used in this research is the laser measurement, digital sound level meter, and light top. Okay, we are on to next is the testing procedure for the acoustical parameter. Each parameter has different approach on how to achieve their value. Firstly is the speech level, which is it will be measured using the sound level meter while considering the use of microphone and amplified speakers. Uh, next is the background noise. It will be measured at 1.5 meter while considering the use and noise of the most fans air conditioner and the noise from traffic jam near the most. Next is the RT60. The measurement is implemented by using a most speaker to generate a static sound, about 120 decibel. The digital sound level is activated and the sound from the most speaker is silenced after a 10 second interval and a predetermined amount of time, about one minute. And after the silence, the time required to achieve 60 decibel is recorded. Last but not least is the ST and RASTI. Fundamental calculation procedure will be performed using Microsoft Excel and the data collected during the background noise and RT60 test are compiled and used to calculate the ST and RST value. Uh, for the formula in this study, these are the formula used uh, in order to find the results of the acoustical parameter. But for RT60 particularly, as mentioned before, it will be measured like in the testing procedure. It will be measured experimentally. On to the last part of the presentation, which is the expected result. So this is the expected result that I will be achieved on the next semester. All right, firstly, uh, the most dimension. The most dimension is the assumption from the side visit of the most itself. And the calculation of the expected capacity is based on a study by considering a worshipper area as, men as mentioned here. And next is the speech level. The average speech level above are expected to be determined after the testing procedure is conducted inside both modes. This is the graph of the average background noise. So it shows the average BN values with Masjid Salam shows a higher value than Masjid Klang with 40 decibel above. And next is RT60. It shows that Masjid Salam with higher most volume will achieve 3 seconds for RT60 while Masjid Klang will achieve 2.1 seconds based on the study. And last but not least is the average signal to noise ratio from the signal ratio expected result by using the formula in one. Both most are expected to show more than 50 decibel values, which lead to a better speech intelligibility performance. Last but not least is the expected result for average ST and average RST. As shown the graph above, by using the formula in 3 and 4, both most will be expected to present the values of average ST and average RST with fair rating value based on the table below. Noted that this rating value will be changed with the increasing presence of worshipper inside the most as it also become a factor to a good or excellent rating values. I think that's all from me.
Thank you very much. If you have any question regarding my presentation today, please do not hesitate to contact me through WhatsApp and, and thank you for your time.